I'm going to go ahead and just assume that you would like to be happier at work, that you would like to be happier in your job, that you do not in fact want to work in a soul-sucking, fun-sucking workplace. That's why I've dedicated my life to talking about creating more fun, positive, inspiring workplace cultures. Today in this video, I want to share six really common happiness thieves that might be stealing happiness away from you at work. Before I get to those six happiness thieves, I want to remind you to please cruise by my website www.mikekerr.com, go to the bottom of the homepage and sign up for my weekly newsletter, Inspiring Workplaces. And if you do that, you will get the free ebook, 401 ways to create a more fun, rocking, inspiring, awesome workplace. And the newsletter is full of great ideas on how to help you be happier and more fulfilled at work. But what if I told you that in addition to working on creating a positive, inspiring, rocking workplace culture, you need to think about the attitude and mindset you're bringing into work, especially as it pertains to your happiness. Because the six happiness thieves that I'm going to share with you really are all about mindset. They're all about how we look at this thing called happiness and how we look at our jobs. And they are completely 100% in your control. So number one, the first happiness thief is constantly relying on external validation for your happiness. Look, it would be wonderful if we all got a standing ovation every time we came into the office or did something that just rocked in the workplace. It would be just fabulous if we got the credit that we deserved at work. But let's face it, that's not always going to happen. And if you rely solely on external validation, on external appreciation for your happiness, you're never going to be as happy as you might otherwise be. You have to remember that happiness is an inside job. Do not rely on external validation for your happiness. Number two, having unrealistic expectations. This is a huge happiness thief. We cannot expect to find joy and happiness in every aspect of our job, in every minute, every moment of our job. That's totally unrealistic. We cannot expect life to be a beer commercial every second of the day or a social media profile where everything just looks rosy and 100% fabulous. That's not realistic. And pursuing an unrealistic fantasy or expectation of happiness is a surefire recipe to be less happy than you deserve to be at work. Happiness is a temporary state of mind. It's a temporary emotion. So happiness researchers suggest that you should aim for contentment, which sounds like you're selling out. Contentment sounds a little less rah-rah and exciting than happiness. But happiness researchers suggest that contentment, in fact, is associated with longer term and deeper feelings of satisfaction and gratitude. So aim for contentment don't have unrealistic expectations about your job, about work, and about trying to be happy every moment of every day at work. Number three, comparing yourself to others. Happiness researchers agree that comparing yourself to others is a huge happiness thief and that you will never be happy if you constantly compare yourself to what others have or what others doing or what others have accomplished. To slay the beast of comparisonitis, learn to cultivate a deep gratitude for what you already have and what you have accomplished, celebrate other people's successes effusively, and compare yourself, not to other people, but compare yourself to your past and remind yourself of how much you have grown and accomplished. Number four, over identifying with your career. Now look, I talk about creating happy, rocking workplaces. It would be awesome if everybody fell in love with their job and woke up on a Monday morning and did the fun dance naked in front of the mirror. If you over identify with your career, with your job though, it can be a happiness thief because you may end up sacrificing other parts of your life. Hello, sleep, for example, because you are so focused just on your career. You may sacrifice your health, your family, your relationships with friends, your hobbies, if you focus too much on your career. And 
you become to identify yourself only with your career and that can be a recipe for disaster especially when it comes to happiness and again it could lead you to expecting external validation requiring relying on external validation for the sole source of your happiness number five focusing on material things over experiences this is a huge happiness thief all happiness researchers agree that when you focus just on the money at work or you focus just on the stuff that money can buy you you won't be as happy as you might otherwise be all of the research that's unanimous on this shows that spending your money your time your energy on experiences is a far greater boost to your happiness with longer term results cultivate happiness again from within you happiness is an inside job remember so focus on creating happiness through the meaning and the sense of purpose that your work gives you through the sense of service that you provide throughout your job and you will be far happier than relying on external stuff to make you happy number six pursuing happiness chasing after happiness perhaps ironically is a huge happiness thief researchers agree on this that it's like a tailless dog chasing after its own tail you're never going to find true happiness if you ironically make that your goal to just become happy because the danger is there is no finish line you end up on a treadmill where you're never content you're never happy with what you already have you're pursuing the next great thing the next great experience to make you happy and you run the risk of falling into that dangerous mindset that can be such a happiness thief of saying to yourself i'll be happy when or i'll be happy once once i get this promotion then i'll be happy once we have a bigger house then i'll be happy once the kids leave home then i'll be happy it could be any number of things again it may sound a little ironic chasing after happiness can cause you to be less happy so instead cultivate a life where happiness becomes the byproduct where moments of joy and contentment come out of doing those things that give you joy that give you pleasure that give you a sense of meaning and purpose at work and in your life okay so six happiness thieves that are robbing you potentially of your happiness now i've got a cliche alert because i'm going to maybe say a cliche here but before i wrap things up for you with a, a really important thought about what can make you happier at work i want to remind you to please hit the subscribe button join our growing community as we talk about rocking workplaces and leave a comment if this video resonated with you please leave a comment i would love to hear from you if you have another happiness thief that you think is robbing people of their happinesses Happinesses, happiness, happiness, you know what I mean. Please leave a comment in the comment below. All right, I gave you a cliche alert. Here's my cliche. If you wanna be happier in life, focus on the journey, not the destination. I think we all know what the ultimate destination is. So remember to enjoy the journey. Cultivate mindfulness and appreciation and gratitude for the simple things in life. Cultitude an attitude of savoring those simple moments in life that give you pleasure that bring you joy celebrate the people around you and focus on making the people around you happier and i guarantee you you will be happier cultivate a sense of purpose and meaning in your work and in your life and happiness can't help but find you happiness will be a natural byproduct if you do those things